Just so, say, what is your name? Tweet A. Tweet A. Tweet A. <laughs> what? Now, now he knows my name. Okay. <laughs> hey, Tweet A channel. I was told to say I love you, but really, come on. Like, who asked that of a person like me? <laughs> Fuck cyanide. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Hello? This is the life of a YouTuber streamer oh. slash content creator. I'm in London to play for 50, for up to $50,000, play on the Battlegrounds with uh, this guy. You're like not even lightened out, so I'm gonna make people guess right now who you are. For real? Yeah, that, that's, that's a good challenge. I mean, of course they know by the, by the, yeah, by the bicep end. and the, the, the shoulders, you know. <laughs> Hast du ein bisschen Haarschei Bock oder was? Nice, full of weight, guys. Nice, yeah. nice. T-Bone. That's what I waited for. Tweedy large. Large. Nice. <laughs> so wait, wait, wait. So we get this clear. This is sorry. Turn that down. Put that down. <laughs> it's, gonna, it's not gonna look good if this. <laughs> Put that down. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk, this is just, just for reference, ladies and gentlemen. This is your what? Dog car, dude. <laughs> this, these, these are the, these are the thrones for the two dogs. And it goes on the back seat. And it's the, it's the dog car. It's a casual Friday song. Yeah, yeah, put, put, put that, put that down one more time so people will actually believe. <laughs> put that down, one more time, one more time. Uh, guess what he's doing for a living? What do you do for a living? I give hand jobs on the street corner. It's very, oh, yeah, very. Makes I got sense. magic hands, bro. That's how I afford this. <laughs> magic hands. Oh boy. Stop. Oh. Where's Nando's? I need someone to Google okay. that, sweetheart. That's the content we've all been looking for. Straight and the left, then you catch on the bottom. Oh. I love you! <laughs> okay. Can you can you have sex with a car? <laughs> We're so lost. I don't fucking care, we lost for serious a car! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, when this is your captain speaking. Actually, that, that calibrated Google Maps, we're now on the right road. <laughs> just, goes to show, just goes to show, sometimes you've got to give something a good old whack before it starts working. Wait, does it shoot flames? Yeah, yeah, it does, yeah. <laughs> Life of a content creator, volume 3. We're eating Nando's. Fuck. What? No, it's not. It's fantastic. It's <laughs> absolutely fantastic. No, it's sarcasm. It is fantastic. Where, where else are you going to get someone to pay for fuel? Life of a streamer, dude. Right. Where else, where else are you gonna get someone to pay for fuel for 600 miles of fuel for a V8? No other company would do it, but esports companies do. Well, now I'm happy. So every every nugget has a different seasoning. Some of them are mild, some of them are extremely hot, and you have to take one and eat it. And it's called. Chicken roulette. It's a little bit spicy. 
It's not about the top dog. You know? I got lucky. Next. Sai, look at me. He did lose the wing roulette. <laughs> <laughs> Doch nicht so unspicy, ja? Ist es spicy? All right, we're in London. Now, step one: show you my hotel room. Like the only thing that kept me up today in the morning was the thought process of getting masses of really good breakfast. Yeah, English breakfast isn't really for me. Here's my breakfast story in three pictures. Actually make it full. Something around there. Breakfast with Edberg. Plate number one, English breakfast. Bacon, eggs, beans and sausage. Plate number two, muffins, croissant and Nutella bread. So. I've no idea why it doesn't taste like anything. Nothing. I don't know. Like, I'm not a fan of it. So, the bean, the bacon was the only thing that was really good. So, what saved the day for me at the end was another plate of muffins and muffins it is. We're going to head to the event right now. Uh, we're going to set up. We have a call time at like 9.30, which is in 15 minutes from now. And everything that happens accordingly while I'm in London, uh, those one and a half days and while we're playing, pretty much is going to go into this video. So, call time in 15 minutes. We're going to set up. Let's get it. Hopefully, maybe, I don't know. They want the phones. God damn it. Oh. Booth number 12. Right. Bitch! <laughs> Two free quick thing. We finished the games. We won uh, $300, which is $100 per kill. I got all the free kills and that's it. I mean, we only <laughs> played two games. I'm gonna show you a little bit backstage. I'm gonna show you the stage in general, the winning moment trophy, something like that. And we're gonna walk around in London. That's the plan. So what's gonna happen? Uh, you're gonna get interviewed for mm -hmm. Singaporean TV. So they're gonna talk to you so about like esports, how you started streaming, how you started getting invites to events like this and stuff like that. You basically gotta explain to people what it is you do. So that's that's kind of what. That's so what, like what what is it you're doing? Explain it. Well, I, see the thing is, I have no idea what I do. I have no idea what I'm doing most of the time. So this is gonna be a difficult one, but it's okay. I'm great at coming up with crap to say. Nailed it. You're talking about cars and leaving. <laughs> that's the shot back. Yeah, it looks natural when you're all squeezing it together, even though it feels weird in real life. Please get your hand up, my butt. <laughs> no, put your hand on his butt. He likes it. Right. Get the microphone coming, and then we need to do it. I'm actually more scared of the girlfriend than I'm of you. Do you know what? Yeah, I completely subscribe to that. Why? She's terrifying. Jesus. Is she really small? Yeah, and it wears short and crazy. Catering time. <laughs> wow. Hey, you antisocial fuck. 2212, yes, Kate. Watch the game. Ladies and gentlemen, London. Cool. Right? <laughs>
All right, guys, last day uh, on the Tower Bridge. Just doing a couple of tourist things with the man himself. And rolling. We're rolling. Yeah, like, we're literally rolling. Uh, we can't put our bag somewhere, so we're just, yeah, two or three hours to kill to the airport. We are right now on the Tower Bridge while I'm filming this. Uh -huh. I'm gonna give you a rundown of the last one days or two days, pretty much at the end of the video, in a bit. The darkness keeps us going. When we're fighting, I can't find the right words to say, but I know it'll be okay. I know that we'll be okay, no matter what. London, a quick rundown of yesterday. We had a party at a yard. PUBG actually a yacht hotel that it was. We went to London to essentially play two show matches where we won an overall of uh, $300 with uh, killing three pro, pro players. 300 so boys. Pays for our f food and uh, travel expenses, I suppose. Unfortunately, we don't have the time. I have to fly in like one and a half hours or something I have to fly. So we're just trying to bag in as much as we can, get as much experience as we can, see as much as we can, and then it's already on the way home. The event overall, you can point it as, it was exciting to watch, it was exciting to be part in. A very good viewing experience for PUBG overall, PUBG Esports was pretty much delivered on that. Yeah, I got the urge to play some PUBG again. People are probably gonna kill me for that on my channel. Don't kill me please, just when I play a different game once in a while. Thanks. Yeah, you're not gonna see me very well, <laughs> I realize that because of the lighting being really shitty. But, you know, it's about, the point is about this. My only vacation in the past 17 years with my family because you know blah 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 we, we didn't really have the funds to do that stuff right so the only vacation that I've ever had was when I was eight years old I had a uh, travel to London with my family and this entire experience right now and that's what makes this thing special it's pretty emotional in that sense because I remember like me and my family you know being right there I remember all the pictures on the HMS Belfair over there at the Tower Bridge all that kind of stuff so thanks face it for uh, inviting me there. That's, uh, yeah. You know, you get to relive some really good memories. No, That's the London Bridge. The most underwhelming sightseeing goal that we've read about. <laughs> no, but at the end of the day, ladies and gentlemen, that's the life of uh, a content creator, YouTuber, streamer, obviously. Uh, that's just how it looks like at an event. A lot of people are generally asking me, why do you not do uh, a lot more vlogs? Why do you not do uh, a lot more videos, like from your daily life, from your gym and stuff like that? Because it's goddamn boring. There's not much more. I wake up, I do my emails, I start the stream sometimes, I stream. That one you always see live anyway. I do my YouTube content, that one you're gonna see published. I go to the toilet, I eat, I sleep, I work out, I repeat. So. Yeah, that's why you only have the majority of the vlogs, or most of the vlogs, about topics like this when I'm traveling to London with very nice people like Spreezy. And uh, that's why exactly there's only vlogs at these type of events. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you know the usual thing what to do. Thanks. And uh, see you in the next video. Bye.